Ladies and gentlemen, here's a project we did for a beverage distributor, just shy of 4,000 feet of conveyor. In the back, you can see between the aisles of racking, there were six pick lanes. And then out towards the front, you're gonna see us build 22 diverters and down lanes. On any project like this, where we'll be on site for so many weeks or months at a time, we'd like to give the end user an outline of everything that's gonna happen. So they have an idea of how everything is gonna progress. We break it into three main stages. The first stage is preparation. That's the first 20, 30% of the project where let's say nothing really looks like it's getting done. End user starts wondering, hey, what's going on? Nothing's getting built. But you know, you've been doing this for a long time. In that first so many days of the project, you're getting stuff done like layout, sorting pallets, sorting hardware, building supports, and just setting yourself up overall so that the rest of the project goes smoothly. Stage two is then building. And as you're watching the video, you're gonna notice we're a little OCD about efficiency. So you're not gonna see us going, oh, we built some conveyor, now what's the next bed? Where are we gonna go find it? No, we get everything labeled on the floor where the beds go. Then we go grab everything off the pallets, lay it out on the floor. So as you're building, you're coming along and everything's already there that you need. You're grabbing the support you need, you're grabbing the bed that you need. So then everything just starts moving along. You get in a flow, you get a little glad in your stride. So then stage three, that means everything's been built and you're going through the whole system adjusting. So you're leveling, straightening, squaring beds, anchoring, flaring guardrail, all those kinds of things. So those are the three stages preparation, building, and then adjustments. Remember, we're only there for a short time. These people work there, so we want to be easy to work with, be accommodating, keep everything clean, and really pay attention to details like vacuuming, anchor dust, and cleaning up hardware off the floor, and all those little things that tells the customer, hey, actually, they pay attention to detail. They might not see you squaring beds and leveling, and notice that kind of thing, but they do pick up on the appearance and that can set you apart from all other contractors they've had to deal with.